So this doctor, he has one goal. He wants to be rich. Let's call him Dr. F. And Dr. F's an oncologist. He specializes in treating cancer and he's well respected, but he's not rich. And in order to get rich, one day he figures out this scheme. His scheme is that when his patients come in, he starts diagnosing them with cancer, whether they have it or not. He's like, oh, sorry, you have cancer. He then submits that info to the patient's insurance company. And the insurance company then pays him for giving the patient very expensive cancer cancer treatment. Here's the biggest problem with that other than the fraud. Not only does the patient falsely believe that they're dying, but they also have to actually go through that treatment. So then you've got a completely healthy person going through chemo and chemo can fuck you up. But Dr. F, he doesn't care. He's going to be rich. And to his credit, his scheme works. Suddenly he's getting paid left and right. He starts telling more and more of his patients that they have cancer and then they all start seeking treatment. So he gets even more money and then he buys a 6,000 square foot house and he expands his businesses. Now he has seven locations and then six years go by and he's still running this scheme and it is still successful. And at this point, he's convinced hundreds of his patients that they have cancer when they don't and then he's pumping them full of chemo drugs and he's pocketing the insurance money. And business is booming. And finally, bam, Dr. F has met his goal. He's finally rich. Until one day, this woman, Monica, she comes in to see Dr. F for something. And of course, Dr. F immediately diagnoses her with cancer when she doesn't have it. And he tells her she needs to start treatment right away. So Monica starts treatment. And after her first day of chemo, she feels like absolute shit. In fact, she feels so bad that when she goes home, she trips and falls and breaks her leg pretty badly in two different places. So she goes to the clinic where she would normally see Dr. F. But this time, Dr. F isn't there. He's out of town on vacation. So another doctor's there making rounds in F's place. This doctor doctor, Dr. So. So So looks at Monica's leg and he also starts examining the rest of her. And pretty quickly he's like, uh, this woman doesn't have cancer. And later he breaks the good news to her. She's not dying. She doesn't need chemo. And he advises her to never see Dr. F again. And that whole interaction makes Dr. So suspicious. And he starts investigating and he starts digging into all the patient's records, looking for more evidence that Dr. F is misdiagnosing people. Now around that time, Dr. So is at the clinic having a conversation with this guy, George. George is the office manager there. And George is like, hey, Dr. So, I heard you're quitting. And So's like, yeah, I'm quitting. There's some shady stuff going on around here. So then George gets suspicious and he starts investigating. He's checking records, he's interviewing staff, and he gathers tons of evidence. And once he looks at it all and realizes what's actually going on, he takes all this evidence to the FBI. The FBI gets the Medicare fraud strike force involved. Yes, that's a real thing. And then they look into this and they find that over the course of six years, Dr. F had committed $34 million in Medicare and health insurance fraud by convincing 553 people that they have cancer. So they immediately raid Dr. F's clinic and they arrest him and he's charged with all kinds of stuff and he gets sentenced to 45 years in prison and he has to pay a bunch of the money back. And all this happened in Michigan, so shout out to Michigan. 